Hey, I wanted to share something that I've been spending a lot of time with uh, over the last uh, few weeks, and that is Nikola Tesla's bifiler pancake coil. Uh, that he doesn't claim free energy or anything like that, but he does say that you can reduce the inductance or the self-inductance on any wire if you wrap it up this way instead of this way. This way you have two wires acting against themselves uh, and they're both at uh, different voltages and in, and in a way that is consistent throughout the coil. And what that does is it, it reduces the self-induction, which means it reduces impedance, which makes current flow a little bit easier. Now to do, t uh, to do tests with this, uh, building something from scratch is kind of a pain in the butt. They're notoriously hard to build. So I started spending a lot of time with KiCad or KiCad uh, building or trying to figure out how to build circuits and, and PCB boards because I've tried a whole bunch of different methods and I'd never seen a, a PCB layout until I saw uh, Carl, uh, what was his name? Carlos Bugeja uh, make some motors. Um, I'll, I'll put a link to his site. But what I went, ended up doing was putting a drawing together for this. So it's a little tiny pancake coil. This one isn't the the bifiler. It is bifiler, meaning that are, there are two wires uh, going in the same direction. It just looks like one, but there's actually two on different layers for this. But um, yeah, so this was pretty, it took a long time to learn the software. I, I started using KiCad. Uh, it took a, a while to learn it, but I, you know, just dug in and, and tried to figure out how to do it and then order it at JLC PCB. Uh, now I can just order these as many as I want and they're, you know, they're, you know relatively cheap to order and I have the drawing. So, you know, maybe at some point if there's any interest, I could sell them because it would have been a lot easier for me to just buy them than to, to make them. Uh, but so that represents this top coil here, this bottom coil, I decided to use that in a, in a jewel thief circuit. Uh, and I'd done it a few times, one with a vortex coil that I made and, uh, and then various pancake coils that I tried to make in the past, but they're kind of clumsy. It's, they're hard to, to deal with so I did a drawing and you can see the drawings in progress or as I progressed on my Instagram page at perpetual motor and this is the final there you can see I don't know if you could see kind of the indicators or the notes I have on on these connectors and yeah, it's out of focus but so this is the PCB coil version of Nikola Tesla's patent. And now that this is built, I can reorder these at will for any kind of testing so I can burn them out and I don't have to be afraid of shorts or anything like that because I, I can get a, get a whole bunch of them now. And again, if there's interest, maybe I'll, I'll make some. Now, what's great is that this is useful for a jewel thief circuit because it the the impedance is reduced. So I have a jewel thief circuit set up already. Uh, here's it. Here it is on a little prototype board. Jewel thief potentiometer tip thirty fifty five. Um, by junction transistor and I have a uh, a uh, an LED cell and these normally take about 24 watts before they get started so I'm going to turn on the power I think I, I'm going to have it set up at 18 volts and there we go 
We got the Jewel Thief working. We're at 18 volts. 0.16 amps. 0.17 amps. And now I can pick it up with one hand. I don't have to be extra gentle when I'm dealing with it. I can do all kinds of different uh, projects with it now. So it's a lot more sturdy than what I'm used to. Now also, I can do... Uh, I can do stuff with paired coils. Like I said, I can order a bunch of them, and I did. So here's a paired coil. Another one exactly like the one that's on bottom, and that one's hooked up to another LED. And you'll notice that the amperage dropped a little bit. Uh, it's interesting, but it's not saying much because uh, you know, the amperage for these things when they first get started should be, you know, around a 10 milliamps. And now we're at about 150, 160 milliamps. So here you can see, as I move away, you got some wire, wireless power going on. Interesting. Woohoo! All right. And then one other thing before I, I wrap up is it just, uh, or actually a couple other things, it's connected to the oscilloscope. So I'm gonna put this lead onto the collector of the BJT. And then with the, uh, I, I burn the tip of my a lot of my, my probes, so sometimes they don't stick. Now let's put this on a negative terminal somewhere. Let's see if I can pull this negative up here. There we go. Good. Now I can see the signal. And there's my little Hot Wheels collection. Uh, I started getting into uh, custom Hot Wheels, watching 3D Bot Maker, and commotion diecast, uh, really funny channels. And see, um, you can tell by the screws that I went in there and changed the suspension and everything. That's a whole other story. So here you see a little square wave, um, and it changes a little bit as as I change the proximity of the paired coil. So it works just like a pancake coil should. And then if I change the potentiometer, let's look at the trace. Let's do it with the other hand. There we go. So you can see where the, the sweet spot is. And that's all fine and dandy, but just to just to uh, illustrate that it's, it's, this is not science fiction stuff. It's just some basic electronics. Uh, if we connected the power supply directly to this LC, LED uh, to the LED, and then look at what we have. Let's see. Right now, we're 18.3 volts, 130 milliamps. So we'll disconnect this, whoops, and connect the power directly to it. Uh oh, hold on, give me just a second, I'm trying to do this without electrocuting myself. There we go. All right, now we'll connect directly to this LED. Sorry, but this is what's going on when you connect directly to the LED. It doesn't really have enough voltage to fill out all the all the little LED lights, and we're at zero amps. So it's not really saying much that we're at 130 milliamps 
160 milliamps when we're using the Jewel Thief. But I thought I'd share that because it was it took a lot of effort to build these things. Um, and that's about it. If you're if you're interested in them, uh, let me know, and then maybe I'll figure out how to get it around. And same thing with the actual drawings. I will charge for them because it took a lot of time to build them. But um, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe.